involuntary addiction. There are bits of skin curling from my fingertips like mango peels sliced slowly with a knife. Separated from the smooth flesh reveals something fresh. Awful for these. I've been biting my nails since that day in kindergarten when across the rug of Anne Hill Yard Loops, I watched a girl tear a piece of herself off. And, and swallow it whole, I write back kosher words. Spit curses onto the blank sheets of small talk. Fuck me for my language, but who the hell are you? I'm sorry if you think I give a shit about you, but I don't. Turn my off. And hey, stop trying to act like you know me. Bitch. <laughs> To miss the point, I always got scolded for knowing too much. Was told to learn from vaguely qualified adults whose parts just weren't in teaching anymore. You could tell by their monotone replies, while kids who just didn't give a shit seem to soak up all the attention. Some mirrors are easy, some are hard to catch you before your time, ruin your day before it starts, or when it starts, and when it starts, it better do so with some swag. Oh, wow. I'm a little awake when you catch one eye on you. No fear in the club. I need my face to stand out, and I care about how it looks. I know it looks bad, but I never learned how to make friends. I always just sat around, waiting to be approached, which worked for the most part, until my soulmates and I went our separate ways, and I had no way to replace them. But I am where the skin begins again. I am the fresh start when the band-aids come off. The promise that my fingers will stop betraying me. Stop whispering in the rough, jagged touch that, that I hurt too much. much. The glass in the bathroom doesn't have veins, and, and smiles sure aren't hearts, but don't blame the sky for looking bigger when, when you're, you're comfortable, comfortable in your, your own skin. Smooth, stretching to cover all the shit that actually matters. Your questions. Fingers pointed and suspicious. Finally, the pocket of the long lost answers. answers for the conversations that I was never supposed to meet. It's been 17 years since my first fingernail meal, and Ouroboros with my tail so far <laughs> down my throat, there's nothing left to bite. An eternal serpent circle of hand and mouth, shoving back the words so they don't feel out. Feeling good about yourself is like sunshine on a rainy day, and beauty is nothing like a bastard. I've been cursing since pleasant trees stopped branching from my gums. Maybe I like the way I speak to fans in a lot of places, so fuck you. No, I did not be ahead. <laughs> I felt like pursuing knowledge. <laughs> she waited at me, and I couldn't resist her smile. For a while, its wattage fulfilled me, but I, I still care more than more than I should about the last girl who didn't call me hot. She said, I've never seen anyone who looked like you. <laughs> but, I've, but, I've seen it but I've seen it before. In car windows, restaurants. Well, excuse me. The back of old iPods. Puddles that stare straight back. Pointing and staring summons paranoid thoughts whose dug in heels leave a trace in my mind. I am the thin, wavy circles of whirling, nervous fingerprints blurred from spinning. Identity faded through years of worried, hypnotic rhythm, and sometimes I wonder if I've altered those circles yet. Changed them enough to make me into someone who doesn't bite so much. Instead, I learned to keep my mouth shut. I can't give you conversation. All I'm used to is the silence. I, I don't, don't even, even know if I love, love it or hate it. All I know is it's familiar. My insecurities are a plague of all the parts. I'm not sure how to share with you. So when you see me fighting, cursing, staring, or standing silent, please, please don't think of it as just another dirty habit. habit.